Hey guys, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, this week we're going back to a previous Short Tip Saturday video, and we're going to make it better. So stick around. Alright guys, not that long ago I did a video where I took an old igloo cooler I had laying around and turned it into a live bait tank. And guys, the bait tank works great, with one exception. It is really, really power hungry, and if you leave that thing running overnight, you're probably going to come back to a dead battery in the morning. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be doing an upgrade to this bait tank. It'll work with any 12 volt bait tank system that you have. And we're going to make this thing where it will still keep our bait alive, but we're going to use a whole lot less of our battery. And we're going to have some adjustment to it that's going to make it a lot more customizable. So let's go ahead and step over to the workbench. I'll show you what we're working with today. And then we'll get this thing all assembled, get it put on our old bait tank, and I'll show you just how much better it's going to make it work. All right, guys, here's the materials we'll be using in today's project. I've also included links in the description for the enclosure and the timer module. We're going to start out by opening our project enclosure and determine the desired timer mounting location. Now mark the timer PC board mounting hole locations using a marker or pin. Drill a 3 seconds hole at each of the three mounting locations. Remove the mounting hardware from the switch. Measure the stem diameter and then drill a mounting hole for the toggle switch at the side of your project enclosure. Grommets are used to bring the wiring out of the enclosure. Drill the appropriate sized holes for your grommets. Mine used a 5 16 inch hole. Install your grommets at both locations, making sure the grommets lips extend around both the inside and the outside of the project enclosure. Insert a number 4 machine screw into each PC board mounting hole. Install a single hex nut onto each machine screw. Here's the wiring diagram for the timer module. If you want to screenshot this, it will be useful later. Wire your timer module as shown in the previous diagram. This is probably the most important part of the project, so take your time, keep all your wiring neat and clean, and get it put together just like the diagram shows. Install the module into your enclosure with the input wires and output wires using separate grommets. Be careful on installation to avoid pinching any wires. Place the three machine screws through the PC board mounting holes. Press the board down until it contacts the hex nuts. Install a hex nut onto each machine screw and tighten. This will hold the PC board assembly in place. Now place the switch through the mounting hole. Install the nut and tighten securely. Using a crimping tool, install bullet connectors onto the wire leads. The input wires get female bullet connectors. The output wires get male bullets. Now install the sealing gasket into the channel in the enclosure's lid.
Attach the timer assembly to your bait tank using number 10 stainless screws. Finish tightening using a screwdriver to prevent stripping the threads. Use a crimping tool to install female bullet connectors onto both wires leading to the bait tank pump. Now use a crimping tool to install male bullet connectors onto both power cord wires from the battery. The battery is disconnected during this procedure. Now connect the power cord and pump wiring to the timer module. Be sure to maintain the correct polarity when making your connections. Connect the power cord to your battery or other power source. Turning the switch on will power up the timer module. With the power on, adjust runtime and stop time to your liking. My settings are 30 seconds of runtime to 10 minutes of stop time. Once your adjustments are complete, install the cover onto the enclosure. On a side note, if you want your pump to run continuously, simply disconnect the bullet connectors from the timer module and connect the bullet connectors from the power cord directly to the pump connections. All right, guys, well, that's going to pretty much bring us to the end of this week's video. That timer module we used is adjustable from anywhere from 0 to 1,000 minutes on and 0 to 1,000 minutes off. So this thing could be customized exactly how you want it to minimize battery use and to maximize the amount of time that the pump's being run and keeping your bait alive. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, checking me out for the first time, guys, I post a fishing or boating related tip or trick video every week. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you don't miss any videos. Guys, that's all I got for this week. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.